That'll at least let me keep up with that. Looks like Bliss is either receiving a text message or checking his watch. What? Just the name. You can click on and drag it. What's your name? What? Oh, I think I did it backwards. Instead of doing Jordan Bliss, it's Bliss Jordan. My bad. Why don't they tell me these things? Nathan says no. But you can drag these in the center room. There's mm -hmm. people. Excellent. Yes, I wanted to add the people. Even if they don't have legs. And then this thing you can right click on. Go to properties. And then change it to zero, zero. Properties at the bottom. Up, oh, hit X on that. I'd have to be in. Yeah. Gotcha. I get to learn something new today. I'm not good at computers. I just need to know what I'm doing. So Mike was saying that uh, we're gonna sit something set up in the back for the TV player thing. Yes. So within the next month or so, hopefully, our store will be going live with TCG Pro. Um, That's badass. Yes, it is something I'm looking very much forward to. So that means you can browse all of our stuff on the interwebs and order it online or come in the store and order it online or come in the store and look at a computer at all our inventory. It'll be excellent. Yes, everything will be more easily and readily available for all of you. But we're going to have a desk behind the counter for all of this fancy stuff. Sounds good to me. So it looks like fish people are kind of off to a slow start. Oh, we finally got a second land out, so that's second good. Second land for fish people. So let's play Walking Blister. That's a standard. Oh, man. Make good thing in Island. That's really brutal against Bliss's deck. Because he's playing the, the Urza lands, you know? Where <laughs> there's three different ones, and together they tap for seven mana for three, man for three lands. But you have to have each one out, you know. Yeah. So, for instance, like he has two of them right now. Mm hmm And if, like, one of them is <laughs> island, it doesn't count. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, we just want to keep you guys updated on what's going on <laughs> in the store, in the Sakuragi. Yeah. Should you ever decide to come to lovely Warner Robins and or, hang out with or us. Or purchase magic cards on the internet. Yeah. Which, you know... <laughs> I mean, you can still watch without buying. We're not charging. Exactly. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> ha! Curse catcher. I guess we can pull up the card here. I was about to say, does he already got that one out? Jeez. He's got a little curse catcher. But see, so Bliss needs to have three the three distinct Urza lands out to make a seven mana. Right. So he's got three of this one out, you know. I oh, know. But luckily, like, had he made the other one an island, he would have just had three of the same one, you know. Yeah. So, it's kind of awkward. Oh no, he lost his person. I wonder what he did. Looks like he blocked Chalice of the Void. You know about this card? Chalice of the Void. It's been a little while, it's but I've seen unfun. it. I'll type it in here. Can you click on the search? Yep. Andy Walker hates this card. Found it. There you go. Ooh, that's the janky masterpiece version. Yeah. So, scroll down. Scroll up a little bit. Get down. Click on, keep going. Oops. It'll be the sword. I can click on the sword. Uh, sorry, yeah, there you go. Yep, click on that one. That's what he's got. Boom. So, this one, it costs XX, and then people can't, you know, really play stuff with whatever the value of X is. Gotcha. So for instance, if you play it for four and you make X two, it comes out two counters. Everything anybody plays that costs two is countered. <laughs> Which is what Bliss did, but Eli countered it. He countered the actual 
just built itself. So you could replay it here. Find down here. People, people doing. Oh, we're doing PSAs, not oh, infomercials. There you go. Hey, that's Joe Lane. It's Joe Lane. Okay, so Silver Girl add up. He's a cool one. Can't spell. A lot of the Nerf Boat guys kind of like work together. Like this one. He's 2 mana, 2 1. And you can reveal a Merfolk or pay 3 mana when you cast him. And when he enters the battlefield, you draw a card. So he can give you a 5 mana, 2 1 that draws a card. Or a 2 mana, 2 1 that draws a card. If you just show a Merfolk. So well, that must be super hard in a Fish People deck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, he's got his thingy on 2, so. Any future things he plays that cost two will be countered for free via Bliss's card. So that's tough for Bliss. Oh, and Bliss has all three of his unique lands out. Good. So, like these up here at the top, they tap for three. Right. The other ones tap for two. So he's got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an island. So he has 11 mana. Isn't that nuts? Well, he's got 11 mana, but he's still got nothing Ooh, on the board. Quick on this guy. That's true. He doesn't... Ooh, I love these little mermaid tokens. Yeah, they're pretty cool. This is kind of swarm I wanted to see. So he's a 4 mana 2 one with protection from red people. Red stuff. And he puts out those cool little tokens for your devotion equal to blue. So, for instance, he costed one... He had one for his Merfolk guy and then one for Spreading Seas, so that's why he got three tokens. Gotcha. And the tokens are zero or one zeros, so they would just die. Right. But the master pumps them all up, plus one, plus one. Nice. But if you kill the master, you kill all his little friends. Which that's is what, sad. Which is what happened. I was about to say, like all of all this my little, all my little yeah, Merfolk people died. Can't math. I can't even math at all either. Oh man, Bliss is playing aliens. Reality Smasher and Endbringer. These are big guys. I'm ready to see them Tron up. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Reality Smasher. This guy's pretty brutal. 5 mana, 5-5, five, five, Trample Haste. Ew. If you would target him with a spell, you counter that spell unless they discard a card. <laughs> Say bye bye to your an islands or maybe your mer peoples. Yeah, he's. Uh, the other one's worse than this guy. Yeah. See, I don't. This is 12 and that is 13. Yeah. Equals good game. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, type, let me type in the other one. The other one's called Endbringer. I mean, he brings the end, you know what I'm saying? Second one right there. This guy is 6 mana 5 5. He untaps during everybody's turn, like the seed one of card does. Right. And you can tap him to deal a point to something, or you can tap a man and tap him to make somebody not be able to attack and block. Or you can tap two men and tap him to draw a card. So he's pretty versatile. And he untaps on everybody's turn, so not only can he attack for five, he can just do other crazy shit. It's a good thing he's got all this extra mana lying around to do any of this crazy stuff that he's got going on here. <laughs> and yes, Eli's Islands are dope. <laughs> do you know if uh, Bliss is running Collar Mane? Basilisk Collar? Yeah, uh, I think he is. So Basilisk Collar? That's a card that combos with Endbringer and some other cards in his deck. Basilisk Collar. So this is a one mana equipment. Mm. Your guy gets Death Touch and Life Link. So if you're tapping something to ping it for a point, you just yeah. kill it no matter what. I remember this stupid thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good. So but what happened there in the match is Eli played the Spreading Seas card, which cost two. If you recall, Bliss has that counter everything that costs two card. Mm -hmm. But Bliss said okay, and Eli drew a card, 
and then Bliss remembered, oh, my thing was supposed to counter that, but he missed his trigger from the chalice. Gotcha. The, the tricky thing about chalice is every time somebody plays something, you have to trigger, my thing happens, counter your thing. Gotcha. If you don't do anything, you know, if you forget it, then it's on you. Mm-mm-mm. So some people play stuff into it, hoping you won't remember, you know? Right. So... But yeah, I believe he plays like one or two in the main deck. Because like, you, you know about Walking Ballista? Mm-hmm. Walking I, Ballista I, is pretty good. It's a good combination with Basilisk Collar. Can you legally miss the trigger, Judge Andrew? You can. Yes, you can, Mad Hatter 916. Eli took a major hit. Yeah, and bring your in reality smash will do that to you. This poor guy. I like that our life totals are Batman versus the Joker. <laughs> the first time that we used that. I can't read this person's screen name. Ah, it's really bright. It's super bright green. Red Magic, Red Magic 3. 3. Colorful how. Like Mike McDaniel colorful? Are we talking like weird language colorful or just kind of entertaining? <laughs> Leave it to J.D. Lane to correct people's English. What an engineer. <laughs> this guy. Oh. Oh, also, um, every Sunday this month we are having $8 booster drafts. You give us $8, we give you three booster packs of Almond Cap. <laughs> You know, I'm not really good at math, but that's a solid rate for a pack. You know that's what I'm saying? It's pretty good. You know. Shrugs. Shrugs. <laughs> well, looks like J.D. Lane's not coming. Both. On a scale of Mike to Cyber, sob- <laughs> oh how God. colorful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Glad you like that. Okay, so... This is a 12. Oh, he took another smash to the face. Yep. The fish people don't block too well. Ooh, that's Emrakul. Oh no. Pack it on in, boys. Oh, it looks like we scooped. <laughs> so then, you know, you did the right click thing on there. And... I think that was a good game. Uh, Hoping to see a little more uh, Tron in that, but. Yeah, he had Tron out there pretty pretty late because you do triple tower there's the tower mine and power plant he had like early on he had mine and tower but then he drew a couple towers that game would have been over a lot earlier if he had the all three of his strong lands out yeah Esther. and eli if he just happened to spreading seas the, the mine bliss maybe would have never got tron that game <laughs> You know, it would have taken him a long time. Yeah, Emrakul pretty good. It's banned and standard. <laughs> Any game where Emrakul resolves is not a good game. I agree. Well, it accelerates the game. You know. Oh, this is round three, I think. Round three. See, so, yeah, I moved that out the way. And right click on that and then right click it. Just like the thing up here. Oh, this? Yeah. And then get properties, and then you just click over there, and all. Yeah. Okay. So many windows. You know. Gotcha. Mucho windows. Let's see. We are getting used to this. Yep. It's so cute. <laughs> you want a? Uh, oh, yeah. You just have one. Talking. So today was my first day of class. Oh yeah? It's fucking awful. I have a new teacher. Like, new teacher is in, she's never taught before. Right. And she's a temp teacher, which means she'll just be here for... For some unknown period of time and leave. So, she's really slow and she's very monotone like I am, kind of. (laughs) It's really brutal, so it's going to be a solid like 8 to 1 o'clock every day. 
of monotone, boring, well, her, unknowing her class teacher. Is ten to one. Okay, well that's not too bad. It's not great. I'll be it's, honest with you. It's three hours. Today it was the first day, and it was really brutal. So is magic. Magic is for nerds too. Nerds or McGurd is McGurd curds. You're, you're talking to like a whole group of nerds, man. Yeah. <laughs> We got down. shuffling down. Magic to shuffling. Yes, I feel like that is most Twitch feeds. It's shuffle and shuffle, mulligan shuffle. shuffle. I feel like they should be dancing as they do it, you know? Maybe he's mulligan. It looks like it. Looks like. See, I wasn't able to get here until hand. almost 5:30 today. Well, that sucks. Yeah. So I have plus dollars in my pocket. <laughs> Ooh, did we get paid today? We did not. We didn't God, do the hours this week. It? What? Come yep. On. So we'll get paid tomorrow. It'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. You said graded to your boxes? I did. I appreciate that. It was awful. It's the popular kids. You can't sit with us. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying that uh, if you're that popular, why are you not sitting here with us at Heroes and Villains Comics? I agree. Rule, nerds do rule the world. Whether they go to school and play magic or just play magic. Nerds rule the world. Yeah, really. Like, where's Bill Gates at? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's okay. I like Warren Buffett, you know. I need to, like, money nerd, you know. Apparently, I am not the right type of magic player. I do not get to sit with the popular cool kids. We have some cards in play. Looks like some land. <laughs> Word. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You know what? I would Skype play with you, Mad Hatter. We could figure it out. It'd be weird, but it could work. Okay. Nobody's going to Skype Mad Hatter into the game, so it's not fair. No, no. He, he's he's lonely. Well, he's in California, man. He well, can, you know... There's cool stuff. How is, is who you in California? I have. It's kind of lonely sometimes. Okay. Just depends on where you are. See, it's really expensive and lonely. It's expensive and lonely. <laughs> you know, nice. that's why there's so many beaches, so you can sit there and brood, mm. watching the sunset. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. So, we played uh, a card here. It's so Ratchet Bomb. Everybody's Is favorite, it that Ratchet? Everybody's favorite wrestling move. The ratchet Bomb. <laughs> I feel like people should be pulling hair and screaming. Yeah. Uh, um, it's not not seer. You know, this is getting nasty fast. Big alien man, 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> got my food feast. <laughs> Ratchet bomb. Those X-Wing nerds, man, they are getting rowdy. Well, they really like flying their shippies. I do too. I see a... Uh, I see some ties over there, a slave, one, maybe a falcon, I can't really tell, it's blending oh, into the ghost. other dude's shirt. You got a ghost? Yeah, but the ghost is dead. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's off the map, yeah. Not that they care about X-Wing shippies. No, they they, they want us to tell us to live about this magic stuff. Magic cards. But we've only got three lands on, and Jordan's kind of helping us, showing his hand a little bit, but not well enough for me to see well, anything. He's looking at the other guy's hand right now. Ah. This guy's four mana, four four. When he comes into play, you look at their hand and exile a card. When nice. he dies, they draw a card. But four mana, four four. That like takes away the best card. I want to know which Pretty which good. set that island with the moon so is those from. So are custom lands with stickers on them. Ah, okay. So it's probably a lot less cool than you were imagining. Yeah, that that kind of crushed my little my little hopes and dreams there. Yeah. So the first time that they Eli and his buddy Ben came and played, you know, I had to okay their cards because you know, if 
the if they are distinguishable, you know, you could tell where they are. But since they're using perfect fits and sleeves on top of that, you know, I couldn't tell where they were in their decks. You know, you see what I'm saying? Right. So I gave them okay to use those. I believe the other game you are looking to name is Warhammer, either 40k or Age of Sigmar, depending on if you wanted to play sci-fi or fantasy. There you um, go. And you know, when you come visit, we will teach you how to play both. Oh, when is your wife moving out there? Has she already moved out there? Or like, it's supposed to be around this time, I think. Yeah. Do you know when we're moving that shelf? Like tomorrow? Or... Um, the drink machine moves or we could move it. I'm thinking we can move it whenever. Tomorrow. We, I mean, we can move it whenever as long as there's a space back there to put it. 40k. You want the sci-fi kind? He forgot the draw. He forgot the draw. What happened? Someone forgot the draw. Oh, from Thought Not Seer. Yeah. They got it. I'm too busy talking about 40k. Can't help it. He was asking questions. I answer questions. There you go. Oh, the Eli guys. Checking out the other Eli guy. Oh, Eli and Eli are going to talk fish people. Yeah. Hey, the last time that Eli Ball was here, he was he had blue jeans on, blue shirt, you know, blue flippy floppies. He's going to replay it. So the card that Eli played... It was called Vapor Snag. Mm -hmm. And that just like returned it to his hand and he lost the life. I know. So Yeah, the the fishy fishies doesn't have a lot of ways to kill people. Because it's blue, you know. Spread and seas. Those are the things he's putting on his lands to make them islands. Yep. That's Sad times. Point. Yep. So yeah, the fish people, if they're not really beating you down fast, they're not very good at blocking and stuff. Seems like they should tron themselves up. <laughs> Players to tron. You should get swarming tron fish people. You should have uh, lines that just tap for blue. Yeah. I think that sounds perfect. Perfecto. Fish run dismembers. <laughs> Oh man, shooty hoops is about to come on. You and the shooty hoops. Yeah. Actually, you and the sports ball. Sports ball. Ooh, yes, I can check out baseball ball. players. I hope I started all my guys today. I'm so bad at starting my baseball players. Oh, it looks like it's out again. God bless it. I missed the start. You missed the draw from the seas. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, looks like we lost some life. Looks like we lost four. Yep. I wish I was a little closer so that I could, like, see what was going on a little better. I'll see if... So I made a new rig over the weekend. Mm -hmm. This is hopefully the last time we're going to use this cage. And it sits, on, it sits on the table. And it's a little bit closer. It's made of metal. Yeah. So, I'm gonna, I want to try it on a Friday. But then but, I can't tell people that on Tuesday nights we have magic cage fights. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, we will still have it. You know, I don't. We won't have any use for it, really. That is true. But it will still exist. I like the idea of, of magic players. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds better. I would love to to figure out exactly how a magic player cage fight would work. Oh man, is it third spreading seas? Looks like it. That's one, two, three right there. Boy. All this blue mana is no good. Did he forget to draw again? See, that's a trigger you can miss also. The spreading seas is an enchantment. He's <laughs> going for the backup game. I mean... Actually, what I could do is remember that sliding one that I was talking about. Uh -huh. that I have to show you that. I could make that one too. Yeah. It's because we already have all the pieces. I would just need to physically do it, and I bought the cutter, so it would take me not very long at all. Yeah. So I might try out both of them. I just don't have a lot of time to do this kind of thing. 
you know what I mean? Trigger's OP. Yeah, that means he's, so, Spreading Seas is this card, it's turned into stuff into islands. Mm -hmm. It costs two, and when, you, when it comes into play, you draw a card. Of course. So you can forget to draw your card. So, I don't have to, like, you know. Oh, yeah. Sixteen, fifteen. Yep. Oh man. I want to know why he's got a die sitting on top of his deck, okay, weighing so, it down. So that's for this card right here, Ether Vial. You can type that one in the chat in the thing here. A E T H E R. There you go. So this one, ooh, scroll down a little okay, bit. Okay, I hate. Let's go to the yeah, the first one. I like how shiny the masterpieces are, but it's just a little hard to read. There. So this thing, it costs one, and at the beginning of your upkeep, which is before you draw a card, mm -hmm. i.e. the dice, you put a counter on it. Ah. And then you can tap it to put a creature into play that costs equal to the number of counters on it. So it's a way to get around, like, remember those things that Bliss has, the counter stuff. Yeah. Because you just put it into play, you don't cast it. Yeah. That's smart. It's a good card. It essentially, <laughs> like, if you play it on the first turn, you can play two creatures each turn for. If you I have agree. Mana, play one. He does need a die for his spread and seize. <laughs> yes. Putting the die on top of the deck for his aether vial is smart, but we got to figure out how to help him yep. remember that. Yep. <laughs> There you guys. It's quick to put the counter on that one. What do you draw? Marrow Redrew. It's a good one. I'll probably play that. Okay, so. Oh. There you go. So this guy, he costs three. There he is coming into play. So he gives all your fishy guys plus some plus one. Awesome. I like and seeing powerful fishy people. Whenever you play a fishy guy, you can tap or untap anything. Awesome. It's pretty good. This is why we need you. This is why we need you. To give people ideas on how to remember um, spreading seas. their spreading seas draws. Yeah. Another really cool card that the fish eat people He's deck. He's at 12 left now. Blisses. Yep. Okay. Another cool card the fish deck can play. Or really any deck that's based around, you know, a single creature type is... You, you've heard of it about before? Mm -mm. So it's land, you can pay one to make it a 2-2 two -two creature that's all creature types. Nice! So it would get the buff from all his fishy stuff. So, it's pretty good. Pretty good, and you can't counter it to land, you know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, looks like we put another Eldrazi out. Another alien guy. This one's called Matter Reshaper. Matter Reshaper. So this guy is a 3 2 for 3. But when he dies, you flip the top card of your deck over. And if it's like a permanent, you can put it into play. Or if it's not, you can draw it. Put it in your hand. But the permanent has to cost 3 or less. Yeah. So like if it's a land, yeah. and also if it's a permanent, it does cost two or less. You don't have to put it in play. You can choose to put it in your hand. That's good. If it would be bad in whatever situation, it's looking like most times you put it in play though. With Bliss's deck, it could be kind of tricky though. There's stuff that you can let another mute evolve. So yep. <laughs> interesting. Bliss does have that ratchet bond, remember that one? Yeah. So you could like pick it up and maybe blow some stuff up. I'm so hoping yeah. Eli's fish people pull out and okay, you do something good. Make the mute of all the 3 3. Looks like he's gonna send on in here. What's up, Jasmine? Did you get wrecked by the cool firewalker? Alright. I'm getting wrecked by people. I see. 
Looks like we're blocking. Blows up the ratchet bomb to kill everything that costs two. Including the spreading seas. Ooh, which is pretty smooth brutal. move. Smooth move, XLX. <laughs> well, I mean, but this was actually that a was real actually... smooth move instead of like the sarcastic, you. Yeah. You know, you suck smooth move. Okay, so the there, he gets the permanent to play. It's expedition map. Awesome. Just get some more lands. Yes. What's up? <laughs> You can't have fun and play magic. Clearly. You know? Especially at a GPT. <laughs> it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It doesn't matter what's going on. Yeah, search your library for a land card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Only taps for two mana when you're searching for Urza lands. Man, he's really suffering. Looks like it. I know we had three of them leave play, but I think he's got one left. Or just played it. Anyone got any ideas on how to help Eli remember his spreading seas? Don't put it on an island. Well, he keeps forgetting the trigger to draw a card. Well, he forgot he put it on an island. Yeah. One week. And just cut this seat nice and warm. Kind of want to go look and see what it is, but... You want to know what it is? Whatever he played. It may not be spreading seas. <laughs> just get good. Thanks, Big Daddy Snow. What card do you want to know what he played? Oh, I asked for... Oh, they played, uh... He played something on this this land down here that's oh, blue. <laughs> but he forgot to trigger again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him when he forgets. You know, if I wasn't three tra three tables away, I would totally do that. Um I don't know if that do what? It's eight of all. With a void on the board. I didn't see a void. Cause that that's was... not a void, that's... I know, the one on Eli's side is Aether Vial. Uh, I hate that picture. Whoop. Mattery sh Oh, that one, gotcha. He's answering that question. Chalice of the Void. I do not see. It's a chalice on the I can't. I can't tell. Just want to walk over there and find out. Yeah. Come on. That is a poopy card. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Seen this tree and I played that deck. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Well, it looks like we might be sideboarding. No. All right. Looks like bliss one again. Big shock. All the Eldrazi. I am still clocked in. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll go eat my food away from the people. <laughs> well, I mean, if somebody just walks up there, you know what I'm saying? 